Good afternoon. This is Frank with Parkway Realty. And I have my friend Drew here with me today. And we just want to talk a little bit about what's happening with the marketplace. So Drew has a couple of questions. Drew, can I answer your questions? Absolutely, Frank. I'm a uh, pleasure to be here with you. Thanks for having me on. And yeah, looking forward to uh, getting my questions answered um, in regards to what's going on in New Orleans right now. So first question I got for you, Frank, is overall, what's going on with the New Orleans market? Um, are we starting to see kind of a heat up to like we would in a normal summer or kind of what are you seeing firsthand with uh, what's going on with the market? Drew, it has been interesting. What we have seen so far has been spring actually coming in the summer, but always spring follow winter. And we didn't have a spring this year because COVID caught us, caught us out of our spring. So what we did was jump spring to summer, but now it's actually spring in the summer because we have more buyers in the marketplace now than we have property to market. What we were seeing with COVID was more property coming on the market than was being sold. But as of today, when we look today, we had 50 more properties sold in June so far than have come on the market. So our market is drying up fast. We can't continue that. You have to get in the market now if you really want to get a house because your choices keep getting smaller and smaller. So more so what you're seeing is kind of a uh, drying up of inventory, so to speak, then, correct, Frank? Yes, there is a drying up of inventory driven by fewer properties being on the market. But the next big thing that's driving this, Drew, is the interest rates are so low, people are ready to get out and do something because they know this will not last forever. So with the interest rates where they are now, there are a lot of people who have taking a time while they were sitting at home to qualify. I guess they took my information back a while when I was telling them this was a good time to get qualified. Make sure you have all the things off your credit that's not going to, uh, that's going to hinder you, from, hinder you from buying a home. So they got, they took the advice and got that cleaned up. So we find buyers in the market today that's ready to move. They're ready to buy. They are qualified and they are still having to do multiple properties because they usually don't get the first one. So they have to do multiple properties to get one today. So we're having fun. Awesome. I'm glad to hear that, Frank. Yeah. Um, what about home prices? How are those looking as far as on the seller side? Are you see with kind of where buyer demand is at, like you just described, uh, what are you seeing as far as home prices if somebody is wanting to put their home on the market right now? Well, for the person that wanted to put their home on the market right now, the first thing I see for them is they will probably have it sold fast, which means they can get what they are asking for. It. I have not seen prices tick up the way uh, we normally will see if interest rates stays where they are, because this low interest rate with the demand like it is, prices will start to rise, but they has not risen that much so far. But they are beginning to be stronger in a strong market like this. The demand for housing is going to be there, which means it going, it's going to drive the prices, especially if interest rate stays where it is. And all of the big wigs say it's going to stay there. I was looking today with Freddie Mac, uh, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, JP Morgan, uh, Nor. All of these guys are saying interest rates are basically going to stay where they are for a while and the market's going to heat up. So we are preparing for that. And I would say anyone coming into this market to prepare for that. Home sellers, you can't sit on the sideline until you feel prices will get stronger because if you buy another home, you're going to pay more. So now is a good time to sell. This is the fun part. It's a good time to sell and it's a good time to buy. Yeah, absolutely. From everything you're saying, Frank, it definitely uh, sounds that way. So um, my next question kind of relates back to what you were talking about earlier with kind of everything going on with COVID. Um, more so, I know COVID has kind of affected everybody's lives and the fact of social distancing and everything like that. But uh, now that it's lightened up, but seems to be coming back just a little bit, um, what are we seeing as far as open houses and the guidelines for open houses? Sure, there's a lot of open houses on the market today. As a matter of fact, uh, there are open houses going on right now as we speak. Yes, the people are coming with their masks. They're coming with their gloves, and they, we even have that hood that go over, that shield that go over your face. They even have that. 
but they are out in the marketplace. We have the hand sanitizer and all of that. All of, they have snacks at open houses now that's sealed. So open houses are going on. We have a whole ton of them scheduled for this weekend. As a matter of fact, uh, we have an agent doing two this weekend. So open houses are back. They are not staying away. And people are not just taking Zoom. They really want to get in, kick the tires, walk around, look at the fridge, look at the rooms, get a good feel for everything. They are out and they are happening. Good, Frank. It's good to hear that. I know people have been itching to get out of the house. So go see a home, go see a nice little property. Sounds like a good time to me. So very last question I got for you, Frank, and this is kind of a look out a big perspective of the New Orleans market. But are you seeing this kind of becoming the new normal as far as one, most particularly open houses, and then two, take it a step further of, do you think kind of with the shift or kind of pause on the market in real estate um, with it pushing back the spring to summer, as you mentioned, do you kind of foresee that coming throughout the rest of the year? We see upticks for the rest of the year. Houses were suppressed, which meant we have a pent up market. So the people are coming out and there are people with their kids out of school and they want to have them. They want to be where they need to be for the new school. So those people are out looking at houses now because by the end of the summer and what they, whatever they do with schools, they want to be in a school district where their kids will go to school. So that's have been driving the market quite a bit. But the other thing, they're just people who need houses now. Everybody need a place to stay. And some people are just ready to move and they had been wanting to move in the spring, which didn't happen. So that's why they're making the summer their new spring. And I realized, Drew, thank you for coming on and I appreciate the questions that you asked and we were able to get those answered. And I will say to our audience out there, if you have questions that you want answered, either just let us know, subscribe to our channel or just type it in the comments and we'll make a video for you and answer the question. This is Frank with Parkway Realty. Thank you for watching this video.